Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install DB Ever on Ubuntu 24.04. DB Ever is UI tool for most of the RDBMS. Go to Firefox, then go to DB Ever, DB Ever dot IO. Hit enter. This is the official web website for DB Ever. See here we have the DB Ever community and DB Ever Pro. But see here DB Ever community is a free cross platform database tool for developers, database administrators, administrators, analysts and everyone working with data. It supports all popular SQL databases like MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, SQLite and Apache family and more. Okay. Scroll down. See here we have the two types of DBWR versions, DBWR community and DBWR pro. This is paid one. So for, so for free, you have to click on this DBWR community version. Click on download, scroll down, click on this Linux Debian package for Ubuntu, Debian, Kali Linux type operating systems. We have to download Debian package for RHL or Fedora or Oracle Linux. We have to download this RPM package. So click on this Linux Debian package. Click on it. See download has been started and its size is 122 megabytes. CE means DB ever CE means it is community edition. This is the version number. Okay. Wait until download completes. Now open terminal. Go to Downloads, go to Downloads directly CD, LS, see here we have the DBWR Debian package, so see download is also completed, okay, go to Downloads and install it, sudo dpkg i, I means install, dpkg means Debian package, hyphen i to install, then give the db and give the tab to auto complete the dot .debian package and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed dbver. Click on applications, then search for dbver. So, click on dbver. See, we have the dbver community edition. Click on it. Now, it is asking us to create sample data. I don't want any sample data. Click on no. Now, we have to select the database. So, in this video, we will see how to connect to PostgreSQL and MySQL databases from the dbver. So, first click on PostgreSQL, then click on next. See, this is the one way. Or we can close this one and click on new database connection. Here also we got the same window. Click on PostgreSQL, then click on next. Here we have to provide the URL or host. Host means localhost. See the localhost because I have already installed PostgreSQL on this machine. So, give the localhost. If you have the PostgreSQL and some other host or the cloud, you have to give the cloud IP. Cloud DNS name or remote IP. Okay. See database name is Postgres and port number 5432. Let us check the database names available in PostgreSQL. sudo. Let me connect sudo PostgreSQL slash L. See I have R2 schools database. Let us connect to it. Provide the database name as R2 schools. Authentication database native. Username Postgres. Provide the password of this user. Remaining options, keep them as blank. Then click on text connection. So now it is asking us to download the PostgreSQL driver files. So click on download. See, password authentication failed. So provide the password. Click on test connection. Click on download. See, connection is success. Click on OK. Click on finish. Expand R2 scores. Click on download again. Expand databases. See, we have Postgres and R2 scores. Remaining two databases are template databases. Okay. So, expand database. See here we have the schemas, roles, and other. Okay. In the roles we have these many roles. Okay. Schemas, only public schema, tables. I have only one table. Okay. We can also create databases in PostgreSQL server by right clicking on databases and select create new database. Then provide the database name test db. db means db ever. Okay. And one or 
see we have the these users in the postgres so select the owner i'm going with postgres click on ok see test dbe is there if you look it again run backslash l see we have the one database is created if you took it here also we can create database that will be reflected there create test one done but now it is not showing so right click on it and refresh see new database is there if you want to run the queries just select the database and click on sql whatever we perform the sql commands or the queries those will be executed in this arthos course because we have selected the window for the arthos course this is the way to connect to process sql but if you want to connect to mysql click on this new database connection then select the mysql see here we can select not only mysql we can select oracle sqlite sql server and many more okay even apache spark also we can connect select mysql then click on next then provide the host name that is local host let me exit exit control l sudo system ctl status mysql see i have the mysql okay host name is local host port number 3306 provide the database i have here also i have the same address course then username root provide the password of root user remaining i'm not going to change then click on test connection now now click on download to download the mysql driver files click on download see connection is success click on ok click on finish expand it expand databases see here we have the auto schools even in mysql show databases see here we have the auto schools and sys database let us create a database i click on databases click on create new database then give the test one click on ok see new database added now verify here also show databases see new database is added create database from here test to okay it is done verify see new database is there but here it is not showing so right click on databases then select refresh see new database is added successfully if you want to execute queries from dbweaver you have to select database and click on this sql let us create a table jm test int then select it and click on this execute button see here this is the execute button see we have successfully created go to artist course tables right click on refresh see we have the test table okay this is the way to execute mysql statements from dbweaver so in this video we have seen how to install and configure dbweaver on ubuntu 24.04 then we have seen how to connect to postgresql and mysql or dbms from dbweaver for more dbweaver our database, our Ubuntu tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.